Hi folks, welcome to Minbusters. I'm Brad, Brad, Brad Weaver here in Upper Sandusky. We're at our uh, test plot here with our Cropland 5073 corn. Uh, everything's looked very well thus far this year. Uh, we just made our fungicide application last week with some insecticide to take care of this stuff. So corn is done. There will be no more, uh, no more applications, hopefully on corn. Hopefully we just get a rain here and uh, we'll be able to finish this crop out. Unless we fly a few cover crops on. Write me one more application. <laughs> anyway, so so we're here at the plot, and we're seeing some differences here. Um, I have a, a leaf of 49.97. Brad's got a leaf of, of 50.73. Um, we've got differences in, in structure of the plant, and a lot of differences. We had 20 some varieties of corn here. So it gives you a chance to look at, at plant structures and see how that's going to fit in your operation, right Brad? Correct. Uh, for us on 30 inch rows, we like that wide leaf. We do not want any sunlight to get down underneath that canopy to hit the dirt. The more sunlight that gets down there, the faster that corn's going to, the, the faster that, that ground's going to dry out. So if we can keep sunlight off the ground, it's a benefit for us. So you're, you're playing around with a little experiment on some 15 inch row corn. So you can look at some of these varieties and, and see how that will, that structure, that plant structure will fit those 15 inch rows better than your 30 inch rows. Correct. Uh, it's, and, and that's one thing, that's one reason why we do these test plots is we want to see how they adapt, how, how, how the ear leaf lo looks, how the leaf structure is, is it a, is it a tall plant, a short plant? And uh, that's why we plant test plots instead of going out and planting a whole, a, a whole bunch of uh, acres of, of a certain variety of corn. So, when we're looking at this corn, uh, you've got an ear in your hand, um, 20 rows around. Yes, uh, 30, I, 30, I hope they're all like that. 36? Yeah, we're, we're 20 around right now by 36 long. Uh, we've been blessed. We have not missed, we've missed one rain and just this last Sunday was the first rain we've missed all year. Uh, we've had over an inch of rain a week for the last six weeks. So we have been blessed, the corn has been happy and uh, we have a pretty good corn crop. So calculating that out, you know, your average population that we've been seeing on your farm is around 33,000 final stand. Um, calculating that out, yeah, average kernel depth that's showing 297 bushels, so Jonah, he's coming after you, <laughs> and Doug. Uh, I just hope your calculation's right. Uh, like I said, we've been blessed with weather. We still have to finish the crop. We still need a couple more rains, uh, but we've done everything so, right up, up to now. So the fudge factor in there is our kernel depth. Um, we don't know what's gonna happen the rest of the year if we're gonna get adequate rain to fill those. You know, we've done our fungicide, our plant health to keep it as, as um, healthy as possible. So we need some timely rains here to finish those kernel depths out and add some test weight. So we've we've dropped out of our high humidity for a few days here. It's this corn's loving it. They've got plants got cooled down, um, slowing down grain fill, which is exactly what we want right now after pollination. Um, we're, we got high humidity coming toward the end of the week again, so we'll see what, how it happens. So, how's the beans looking, Brad? Beans are coming. The beans have. Uh... As the corn's been loving life, uh, beans have been struggling. We haven't had a whole lot of sunlight. I mean, we get rains two or three times a week here the last six weeks, but uh, beans are doing good. Uh, we just finished, uh, just got a text from Heritage here a little while ago. Our last bean field has just got its 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 last application on it. So we put a fungicide, insecticide uh, with some micros down here, here the last uh, week, and uh, they're looking pretty good. We've had some animal feeding. That's why we went, went with the in. In, in, uh, in, in insecticide with our fungicide. And uh, as you can see, this is just a bean here by the test plot, but we have n nice branching. And that's what we want to see on our beans. Uh, population wasn't too high, so we just need to keep, 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 keep these beans branching, and that's how we'll make some yield. So rumor has it in your bin buster, we aren't going to divulge all the secrets yet, but um, I've heard uh, 109 pods per plant on, on some of that. So things are looking good. Yes, uh, our 30 inch beans are, have come around. They, they had a tough start but they are branched nice, and hopefully we can just uh, continue to, to grow, continue to fill pods, and uh, we'll hopefully have, have some pretty decent beans. So, got a leaf here, and, and there's certain things we can't control in beans at this time. Sudden death syndrome is starting to, to show its ugly head in, in a few fields. Um, not much you can do about it. You have to 
attack that earlier on with seed treatments um, if it, it's a severe problem. Haven't seen anything real severe, but as Brad said, we've had a lot of rain lately. A lot of beans have been struggling. Um, the nodules have, have been killed off that we aren't producing nitrogen. We've added some nitrogen in some of the post applications with fungicide and, and got beans green back up and trying to, to get going again here. And they are setting more pods, blooming pretty strong yet. So, you know, we've got high hopes on beans too, as long as Mother Nature cooperates. Yeah, uh, like I said, it's been, uh, we've hit we, we've hit rains, we have plenty of moisture. Uh, we just need some sunshine for some beans and a little more rain for the corn and we should be good to go.